Hi, dear friends, this is Young Yosef, and welcome to the most exciting channel on the internet. Today, I am going to review Power Horse. The drink. I am not a big fan of energy drinks. Big disclaimer. But, uh, I, I have liked certain energy drinks in the past when I was younger, and I've heard of Power Horse, and I haven't tried it yet. Now, what interests me is what is written in the back, which I will read to you right now. Power Horse, energy drink. Increased caffeine, 32 milligrams out of 100 milliliters. Not allowed for pregnant and lactating women. Children below the age of 18, diabetics, persons allergic to caffeine, caffeine, or suffering from certain disease affecting their health conditions, especially patients with heart, arterial diseases, and high blood pressure, should not be allowed for athletes during or after physical activity. Excessive consumption reduces the ability to sleep due to high levels of stimulants. High caffeine content. The permitted daily intake shall not exceed one can. So I was kind of tempted to drink two cans just to see what it actually does. But reading on, do not mix with alcohol. Another thing I thought, you know, energy drinks. Well, duh, mix it with alcohol. Mix anything with alcohol, but guess not. So I was tempted to do that too, but you can't really... Uh, it's kind of hard to buy alcohol in Jordan. Store at room temperature. Hmm which I didn't do, this just came out of the freezer, so what? So what? Production expiry date printed on bottom of can. Okay, you didn't need to hear that last part. This is going to be expired on... in 2008, so 2018, <laughs> 2008. So let's try it. I just ate a shawarma like half an hour ago and I have gone like an hour or so without drinking anything so I'm kind of thirsty. So let's see how it is. Ooh, it's kind of fuming. Smells like shark. Uh, smells a little sweeter than Red Bull. Okay, so it's not as fizzy as cola, but it is pretty fizzy. It's got this very sweet aftertaste, kind of jelly tasting kind of stuff. Like, I always thought Red Bull tasted like Jolly Ranchers that were melted down, but this tastes like just candy. Let me have a second swig, because the first swig and the second swig are different. And the second swig and the third swig are different, too, always. Every drink. <sighs> yeah, it's got this kind of dry taste that pulls at the back of your throat. But it's not as bad as Pepsi. Pepsi has this horrible aftertaste that really pulls at the back of your throat, which cola doesn't have. Mm. Oh, I'd also like to remind you that uh, drinks all over the world are actually very different. Coca-Cola in Germany tastes different from Coca-Cola in America, and so on and so forth with every drink. Uh, I can pretty much assure you no exception, because they make it differently in different regions. Okay, so it starts out really sweet, right? Oh, it is, it is a bit sweet. Oh, I shouldn't have suppressed that burp. I should have let it out, let it free. It isn't as sweet as it was on the first chug. It actually gets less and less sweet, which is usually the case with soda or just sweet drinks in general. But this one, it starts to kind of taste like water. It's not too strong. It's just like a bit too sweet in, in, in parts. Usually after you swallow, you feel the sweetness come up. Mm. 
It's refreshing. It says it's cold. Uh, 355 milliliters, I think. Yeah, 355 milliliters. And... Yeah, uh, I'm pretty much refreshed by now. I'm pretty happy. I was really thirsty, and now I drank this, and I feel much better. I drank about half, and... Yeah, uh, I don't really want to drink the other half. <laughs> it's a little too sweet. And I like, I like cola. I like Coca-Cola, Dr. Pepper, and... <coughs> there we go. And A&W. But this is a bit sweet. Not what I'm quite used to. There's kind of this sour taste too. Which I didn't mention earlier, but there's there's a slight sour taste. You know, there was this, uh... There was a rumor, yeah. There was a rumor that Red Bull had bull semen in it. Which, which is an interesting rumor to go around. I think if what I was told is true, and if I remember correctly, once that news got out, people bought more Red Bull. I mean, obviously people didn't believe that rumor, but... Isn't that interesting? The rumor starts and then people buy it more. It's like it's in their head more. So if that was made out of bull semen, was well, this made out of 32 milligrams of caffeine, 8 milligrams of niacin, 2 milligrams of vitamin B6, 2 milligrams of pantothenic acid, 0 0.06 milligrams of riboflavin, Riboflavin. I love riboflavin. It's my favorite ingredient. It goes down relatively easy. It still has an aftertaste. <clears throat> I got like a third left and it's... Blah. Blah. Oh, I finished it. Ah. <laughs> ah. Oh, it's really sweet. It's making me sweat. Uh, you know, <laughs> interesting fact. When I bought this at the store, everything else was like, like almost sold out. And this, no one touched, touched this pile. It was just full. That section of the or the fridge, the refrigerator, it was it was completely full of this. Ah! I think three hundred fifty-five milliliters is a bit too much. It makes you burp. Uh, yeah. So. My review is a solid 10 out of I will never buy this again. <laughs> it's, it's honestly not that great. So go try it. <laughs> go try it and tell me what you think. Or if you have drunk, drank this before, tell me what you thought. Leave a comment in the descriptions below. Or if you like this, you love it so much, you drink it every day. What's wrong with you? Go away. Leave me alone. Don't, don't, ugh. It was really gross. Alright, guys. That was Power Horse Review with Young Yosef. Hope you guys enjoyed. Drink safe. Bye bye Uh, I, I have liked certain energy drinks in the past when I was younger. And I've heard of Power Horse. I've heard of Power Horse. And I've heard of Power Horse, and I've heard of Power Horse, and I haven't tried it yet.